Hi everyone. Lastly, we made this project, which is simply sending OpenCV image to QML. If you already didn't watch it, or you can directly copying from the GitHub, you can get this one. This is simply sending OpenCV images to QML site. Now, in this video, we will separate this streaming part of this OpenCV functions to another thread. Why we need to do this? Because, uh, for example, there is a loop in here. Even there is no for, there is no while. We are updating this loop in uh, according to this mi uh, millisecond. I don't know. It's up to the FPS of video or camera. So we will, we should make this loop to another thread. We should separate this from the main thread. Why we are doing this? Because we now we don't making any processing after streaming this frame. We are not making any process on this. Uh, in other projects, of course, we will make uh, many processing of this frame. And in here, this part will be full of code. And until this finishing, uh, because this is connected to main thread, uh, GUI thread, uh, until this finishing, the, our GUI will not be updated. So, for example, this GUI will not be updated and GUI will be shaked. And this is not a safe way, also not a good way. So, in this video, we will separate uh, streaming to another thread. To do this, uh, let's continue creating a Q thread in in this video streamer header header first of all adding q thread q thread simply using c uh, backend uh, and no difference just making some optimization and using the same one you can also check this one later by yourself then let's continue create a new thread Let's call it streamer or thread streamer. Then what else we should declare in here? Let's declare a streamer slot. Um, streamer thread. Oh, they are almost same. Streamer thread slot. And we, I wanna emit it from a signal. Void emit open CV or emit thread image inside frame thread. Then what else we need? Ah, for, we should take this to outside of class because we wanna reach it from the thread. Let's make it static also. Mm, what else we need in here? Also, we should make a function which is catching our signal after emitting. Let's make make it catch frame and uh, emitted frame mm, okay let's refactor these things this one also and the others no need okay let's make this comment or totally close um, basically we are clicking this slot from the qml site in the previous video you can also check again yeah here open video camera slot here basically we are opening our video or camera in here 
Mm, then we will define our threads in here. Video streamer. Let's make a worker. Worker is equal to new video streamer. Then worker. Let's move to thread which is our thread is how we named it thread thread streamer is it true or not thread streamer true then after this we will basically connect them uh, to each other this um or worker worker signal started then this slot will be slot will be streamer thread slot yeah streamer why not coming thread slot should be like this if I am not wrong. Q object. We will also connect uh, the other emitting OpenCV image from thread to catch frame slot. We will also same thing we will do. Mm, like uh, video streamer. Mm, emit thread image image and this basically catch frame okay ah. um what else we will starting our thread now thread streamer that's the start yeah okay I think this is done in this part now we will try a temporarily frame temp frame and after this we will make an endless not endless Mm, let's make stream in here to temp frame and if our temp frame is valuable then emit open what was the name thread uh, I forget the name is emit thread image emit red image we will emit temp frame but this type of thread not safe we will basically use interruption true thread or okay this one is also okay uh, current thread which is this one is interruption requested then we will basically releasing our camera or our video then return uh, also we should make in here if we close directly we should uh, close our thread because it can be terrible things in the background let's make it camera what was the thread of name thread streamer dot request interruption and looks fine looks fine just after emitting we will come into here and our frame which is private which is encapsulated we will make this to equal to emitted one frame is equal to emit that frame and when this emitted 
of course this is in the background will be updated because of the true timer let's make this frame that data also check before sending QML then what else huh one more we need to convert our because we are emitting our mat by Q object which is not recognized by the QT let's make it recognizing recognizing Q register method type which is CV mat then CV mat not like this should be a string mat and this also done anything I'm forgetting let's try even caching let's see it this is our video Tom Jerry video not working not working why not working mm. streamer slot let's try ah started also should be then okay i think this should work no still started should be like this or different hmm how was that Result ready. What about started? Started getting started. How the way? Q object. I think should be like this. Where I am making mistake. Uh, I was making a stupid mistake of course this should be parenthesis this part true um, this part wrong totally wrong this part signal will coming from the thread of course which is thread streamer then this part also will be coming to worker part because we will emit from there and streamer thread slot also will belongs to worker and i think this will work yes this working then if you see there is a problem in here the problem is it's not playing in its own fps even we are making this in the previous video is playing in the own FPS but now the situation of course different we are streaming in another thread which is not connected to which is not uh, synchronous to our main thread UI thread this just streaming uh, like a, how to say a dropping water from a waterfall this just uh, updating always frame always pulling from the video or pulling from the camera if camera no problem because uh, it cannot uh, how to say it cannot pulling all the frames because it's, it has an FPS it cannot give infinite source but video uh, this can uh, try to pull all the video frames with it's all power also your computer will be little uh how to say little will be in force because of uh this will use much cpu uh this is looks maybe looks like not good but this is the good way in, because we are not connected to anymore the uh the main thread if you how to say if you streaming from your camera 
it will be more better than video because you how to say safely will streaming from your thread also you can make many processing in here open cv processing like uh like morphologic operations other operations anything you can do it and updating your image safely with emit signal and slot safely you can emit to your qml and your qml your interface will not be affected because of this operation that's why this is a um safer than um streaming from the main thread i will up uh, putting this projects again to github you can take it from there and this is end of the video for now see you